Hello there, welcome to another Life Beyond Bricks video. You join us at a weird little place. It's uh, been quite a nice little park up, very quiet until this morning and then lots and lots of people turned up. But yeah, it's a little bit of a strange one. Apparently this is, or may well have been, a prehistoric riverbed. Uh, as we do have lots and lots of little bits of shell. Uh, unfortunately, some people haven't respected the uh, the fencing, but and obviously you can see there's footsteps up there, which there really shouldn't be. But one of those things, I guess. I think people have come here and thought it was somewhere to sled down or somewhere like that. But uh, no, it's quite interest, quite an interesting little place. A lovely little quiet park up. Kept here park for night. Uh, found it on there. Just rocked up late last night no no trouble no no cars or anything like that really quiet um so yeah on to the next stop So for those of you wondering what race circuit we're coming to, I sort of told us a bit of a lie because it's not technically a circuit, it's just a piece of a circuit. Yeah. Uh, so I probably did throw you off a little bit there, but thank you for your comments and well done those who got it right. Did anyone get it right? Yeah. Did they? Yeah, a couple of people. Ah, oh, because yeah. I saw a couple that said like spa in that, which is a good suggestion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is amazing. We missed it last time uh, and I was really annoyed when I realised I completely just didn't realise how close it was to Reims. Obviously, I know now it's a circuit to Reims, I get that. Um, but yeah, I was annoyed we missed it last time. So we had to get back for the tunnel, didn't we, or something? Uh, yeah, we did. The, yeah. We were due back, so we were sort of on our way back up. But yeah, we missed this last time. But, but uh, oh. it's amazing, all done by volunteers. So it's all been, a lot of the bits have been restored, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's just just amazing. A must for any other motorsport fans. Like, we love this, this is amazing. This is up there with rubble for me. <laughs> wow, what a place that was. I can't believe it's free. It is free to visit there. It's free to walk around. Um, they do hold events there, but you do have to book and obviously pay. There's like motorbike events and um, car clubs that will go there. And then they will actually let you inside and actually park in the circuit. But um, obviously we just rocked up on the day and just had a look, a look around and you can literally walk everywhere. Even the original um, bridge under the road is there and you can walk to the other side and go and go and get footage from the all the grandstands and stuff like that. So yeah, it is an amazing place well i would recommend going if you are anywhere near that, the reams area just to you know just to have a look there um the volunteers have done a really good job of like getting the uh getting all the buildings back up to back up to spec all nicely painted and as you can probably tell by some of the footage it was a road circuit so it was a road circuit uh, that they had to close the other roads to uh, then form the circuit so the circuit was first used in the 1925 for the Marne Grand Prix. Um, it was used to hold major events every year until 1939, and then obviously Second World War put pay to any any further events until 1947. And 1950 saw the first Formula One Grand Prix there. 
and then through the through the years they had many other events they had 12 hour endurances there and all sorts of uh, motorbike racing as well was there had a few alterations through the years but ultimately the circuit is about 4.8 miles long so it's a little bit of an engine killer really it was really hard on engines and brakes because it's it's pretty much long long acceleration zones and yeah only a few corners really so a, an exceptionally fast circuit but unfortunately in 1972 it looks like um, they ran out of money or they ran into financial difficulty so the circuit closed uh, there was supposed to be a historic event uh, held there in 1997 but uh, for technical reasons it was cancelled and then unfortunately in 2002 the bulldozers were were called in to demolish parts of the circuit and it was said that they were going to demolish all of the buildings as well and actually flatten it um, but luckily uh, something happened and it was all saved and then it was it was left to sort of overgrow unfortunately for for a good period of years until the uh, friends of the circuit came in the volunteers and they've now got all those the surrounding buildings that were still left they've all got it back up to uh, back up to its former glory because to be fair it's a it's a really really nice bit of historic history really racing history uh, some of the greats used to race there jim clark uh about alberto ascari fanjo raced there i'm glad that that is a bit of racing history that still survives today right next location and it's a bit of a pretty one very very pretty we are in champagne country it's a shame that I don't like champagne, but there is no less than eight champagne sellers, merchants, whatever you want to call them. But if you can see in the background, we are literally surrounded by grapevines. And there's lots and lots of people working, uh, loads and loads of little tractors going around. You know, the weird ones that are up on stilts that go between the vines so they don't damage the, damage the precious grapes. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice little air. All the services are free. Um, don't obviously want them for free, but it's just water and outside, uh, water and toilet emptying is all we needed. So um, we did that. Uh, there is also electric here if, if you need it, but we've, again, we've got so much solar that we don't really need electric. And we are pretty much driving every day. So again, we just don't need electric at the moment. <laughs> pretty obviously surrounded by hills uh, all the all the houses are really quaint you walk around most of the places are to do with wine it's a quiet place to stop 